In this video, we're going to look at recursion. So we're going to make a cube that makes a cube that makes a cube that makes a cube and keeps going. So uh, here's our cube, game object, create other cube. Here's what we want to do that with. Um, I'm going to make it a little bigger. Okay. So right now our cube just kind of sits there. Not too exciting. What I'm going to do is going to make this make more of itself. Um, so in assets, scripts, uh, right click, create, C sharp script, call it simple recursion and open that up in mono. So for mono uh, we don't need update, we're only going to do this once so there's start. What we're going to do is make one of ourselves. So um, we're going to be making a new variable called new cube. It's going to be when we instantiate, well when we instantiate what? Usually we put the cookie cutter in here of what we want to instantiate. In this case it's actually the thing that simple recursion is attached to. And when you're writing a script, that's game object. Now we're talking about the game object that simple recursion is attached to, which is our cube game object. So now we have a new cube that's a copy of whatever simple recursion is attached to. So we don't want to make new cube to be the, in the exact same spot as itself. So we're going to change it to transform.position equals new vector 3. And this is going to be x, comma, y, comma, z. So I'm going to use the same x. Okay. I'm going to use something for a while, just do 6, and I'm going to use the same Z. Now for Y, I'm going to make this based on the height of the cube. We're going to use renderer, so this is what the cube looks like. Bounds size dot Y. I had to look that up to know exactly what what uh, what to look for there oh yes so I'm going to use my own Y plus my height the height of that cube so if we were to run this code now we'd actually run into a problem because this cube will make a new cube that cube will then make a new cube that new cube will make a new cube, that new cube will make a new cube, and it'll keep going forever, and it'll actually fill up the memory in your computer, and it'll freeze your computer. So in all recursions, you need a base case, you need to know when to stop. So for this, I'm going to stop, uh, I'm going to make each new cube smaller than the last, and I'm going to stop when it's too small. transform.localscale.x greater than 0.1 and then of course the code that will actually make it smaller because right now each cube is going to be the same size each time so new cube dot transform dot local scale is going to be equal to the local scale of myself over 2. So now we're going to go save and go back into Unity. And when we attach our new script to this cube, and we hit play, there's what we get. So this big cube made this one, this one made that one, this one made that one, and this one made that one, and then it just kind of kept going until it reached this tiny little guy right there. So that's a simple recursion. Um, there's a more interesting one actually I made uh, just to show you guys. And here's how this one works. Say we have 
Say we got a cube. Well, this is square, but hey, I'm not that good at drawing. Say we have a square like this. Make it a little smaller. This square can make two squares like this, but it made two. And each new square is going to then make another two on top of it. Well, each of these squares is then going to make another little square on top of it, two, two more. And this will just multiply out and get quite big. So here's what it looks like when we pop this onto another cube. That is over here. There we go. There it is. And... You can kind of see what happened. Each cube made four cubes on top of the other. And each of those cubes made four tinier cubes on top of that one. It looks together now, but at the very top, they're tiny cubes. And I made something fall into it. So that's recursion.